every 60 seconds in America, a minute goes by. <laughs> For every 59 minutes, there are just one more waiting to make an hour. By the time the sentence is over, I will have finished saying it. Is prevention possible? What about our children? Can children be prevented? How much is too little? When is not enough? Luckily, there's hope and answers and more hope. Find out what you can do today to find out what you can do tomorrow. Remember what you found out the day before, before it's too late. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the present moment. We'll be back in two minutes and 19 seconds. HSBC, bringing the world together in one place. I like HSBC because I like the bank that gives me a little card that can use about factory in the middle of the night. I like HSBC because they treat me like I'm a nice person and not like I'm French. I like HSBC because when I came to London many years ago from an unidentified country with an indiscernible accent so nobody's feelings get hurt. I was finding it difficult to get around because I have a can of sack filled with chickens and chicken balls. And it was getting difficult to carry, not because it was heavy, but because when chickens are in the same bag as chicken bones, they reflect on their own mortality and flap around the night. So it was getting difficult to carry, but luckily I happened into an HSBC branch. There I was met by the manager who shook my hand. What is this? What are you doing? What is this? I'm sorry, uh, we're just trying to keep the whole advert down to around 30 seconds. So uh, if you could sort of quickly sum up your HSBC experience, that would be wonderful. Hey man, don't rush me. I won't start you telling my own way my own time. I'm doing you a favor. You're the one who sent me the piece of paper saying HSBC is looking for certain types to reflect the world's local bank image. Don't rush me, because I hope this was not some excuse to plug a fucking bank. If it is, I walk. That's not what this shit is. No, no, we're interested in your people and your culture, so go right ahead. We'll just edit this out later. Right, so, he shook my hand and he led me down. I don't want to call it a labyrinth because there was no Minotaur chasing us, but it was a little windy. And he sits me down in his office and he says, what is in your sack? And I said, chickens and chicken bones. And he said, oh, it's not money. I said, when in my country it can be used as currency. And he said, oh. You're not from an unidentified country with an indiscernible accent, so nobody's feelings get hurt. And I said, yes! And he says, what do you want from HSBC? And I said, I want to use the loo. He said something I never forget as long as I live. He stood up and with tears in his eyes, he looked out the window and he said, the toilets here are HSBC are for staff only. But across the road is a bad place and they have a public toilet. Ever since that day, I've been a Barclays customer. <laughs> and that is my HSBC story. Barclays, we'll take the piss. <laughs> Willfranken.com, I have a Kickstarter page. Please help me get that work.